Well guys, got the new wheels. They are fully done. I had to bring them to a machine shop and I'll show you why. That's why they uh, took a little while to get from me having them to actually being able to mount and put on the car. So stop by the shop up here in Clearwater. I'm gonna mount up my tires here. So obviously you guys know I don't have a tire machine. So I'm gonna break the beads off of the old wheels and mount them up to the new wheels and be ripping. I'm really excited to have these on today. So show you guys the old wheels here. So as you can see, here are the old wheels. This is the old wheel. You guys know I run a 275 ET Street Radial Pro, 275, 60, 15, and they were spinning pretty good. So I put this mark here and this is the mark that they spun. So we are switching to bead locks. But I'm gonna use these same tires because they are still in good shape and have plenty of life left on them. Not quite ready to change those out yet. So let's get these dismounted. Here they are, the new wheels. I know they probably look exactly the same as the old ones, but they're a little different because these ones have a beadlock ring. Look at that. Dang, same wheel, same design, but single beadlock. The old ones do look a little more concave, but everything should be the same. The fibbin is supposed to be exact, which I really hope because I didn't test them stupidly on the car. I should have tested them when I first got them, but I had the lug nuts machined out, the lug nut holes, because I wanted to run a shank style lug nut instead of a conical style. Like this one was running a conical style. And it's not safe on a drag car. You don't want to run a conical style lug nut on a drag car because they are known to shear off. So this will be a lot better. Once I get them home, I'll show you guys exactly what I mean by that. Just gonna mount them up right now to the tires and take them on home, figure it out from there. Oh man, well they're both mounted up now and they look so much better. The beadlock with the black hardware, the gun metal, so awesome. Can't wait to get these home, put them on. That'll be our next stop. And I got the old guys, figure out something to do with them. Probably put some street tires on them. I don't know what's a good, I don't know, I haven't decided which tire I'm gonna put on these yet for street use, but probably some kind of 15 inch radial, maybe like a Mickey Thompson ET Street SS, something like that, I don't know. Could always put some slicks on them for if I do some uh, no prep racing, I don't know. Something cool, we'll see. Come here. Hi. Hi, did you want to come help? No, you don't know anything about cars. She doesn't know anything about cars. Dogs, I'm back. Luna. Yeah, they pee and poop in sink. It's incredible. Oh, now we're asking Luna. Hey, let her pee. <laughs> Luna. Luna. Wow. Oh. Aww. Gotta be Poor careful, Luna. Luna. They're huge. Poor Luna lost her ball. She's so fast. She enough. brought the ball out with her and now she lost it. Who's got it? Jess? Yes. Come here, Jess. Give it. Oh, you want to see the new wheels? Yes, I do. They're pretty sick. All right, let's go. Let's Look in there. Whoa. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Pretty much the same, but they have bolts around them. Wait, oh my God. There's I didn't one. even realize you put it on. One, one's on, yeah, the driver, the passenger side's on. Stop. They look a lot cooler and cooler lug nuts. Those are so cool. Pretty cool bead box. You're like a official race car driver now. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Wow, I really like The that. lug nuts are a lot cooler too. Just for reference, here are the old lug nuts that I was using. Not safe. And here are the new ones. Yeah. Yeah, that's the difference. So now the wheels won't like spin on the, well the tires won't spin on the wheels, right? That's the goal. Yeah, they shouldn't. What did you do to this? That's how you have to glue it down. 
Oh, really? I just didn't do a great job. It's hard Sorry, to do. I kind of just like called you out. It's okay. It's like, when did you do that? Yeah, it's, it said to use like windshield glue. And I mean, it's it's yeah, held down pretty good, matter. that's for sure. But. Doesn't look the best. <laughs> it definitely doesn't. I mean, that's part of it being the trailer park Camaro. Yeah. That's part of it. Trailer park Supra. Or whatever, yeah. It's kind of part of the car, so. Exactly. It can't be all nice and fancy. Exactly. Oh, got a little. <laughs> I I was peeling it off. You can get it off with your nail, mm -hmm. but I kind of stopped because I just I got bored. Yeah. But I yeah, really time like to the put wheels. the wheels on. Good. Pretty excited to have fresh wheels. Hey, no okay. jump. So, remember I was saying I had these wheels machined out to fit a different style lug nut. So this is a conical style lug nut, not exactly safe for drag racing. And this is the lug nut I switched to, which is a billet shank style, you know, deep reaching lug nut. So you get a ton of threading. Like there's like double the amount of threading on there. So a lot less likely to break them. These go in the wheel and help center it too. So a lot safer. Plus they're a little lighter. Not really much, but a little bit maybe. But regardless, they also look better. They're gonna be safer and it was a necessary thing to change to, so you can kind of see how this needs to sit in there like that and kind of holds it, holds it nice. So that was a necessary thing to do. Now time to put these wheels on and, and just uh, look at it. Just, you know, set up my chair, just kind of stare at it, maybe get on the forums and talk about it a little bit. Something like that, but we'll see once they're on. These lug nuts are a lot more fragile than the old ones. You gotta be careful, you can't just... Bog them. Yeah, you can't <laughs> just give them all the ugga duggas. A bit a little careful. <laughs> the what? Ugga duggas. Like that, like that noise is ugga duggas. The dogs. And I'm using a chrome socket because I don't have a 12.78 impact socket, unfortunately. So what does that mean? It's just the socket that I'm using. I do need an extension though. They look good though. Who are you? Are you Jess? Jess? That is Jess. Hi girl. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> All she wants to know is where is Millie. They are looking sick. Yeah. You don't need to do those like in the front. No. No. There's no power going through the front like that. Mm. Okay. There we go. Torque them to spec. <laughs> That's just like extra tightening them in. Yeah. There we go. Woo. One's on. Nice. You excited? Yeah. The <laughs> lug nuts make it look so much better too. Yeah. Even just that. Dang. Those well, are good. Are you going to get the same lug nuts on the front? Like, can you do that? I mean, I would have to get them remachined, but okay. the front aren't as important because like you're not putting power through the front like you are the back. So mm -hmm. you're not as likely to break them. Oh, okay. It would look a lot nicer though. Those. Yeah, so that's literally... kind of what I was thinking for look. <laughs> Those are literally the stock lug nuts that came on this car. They have like 300,000 miles on them. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, these look really cool. Get one this close up. A lot better looking. Took me forever to tighten all these bolts on. <laughs> oh, you had to tighten each one I mean, of these? Tighten them, yeah. Oh my god. Took me forever. When you did that today, when you were putting them on? Yeah. Yeah? Oh my gosh. Drinking some high quality H2O, Aquafina. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, I meant to show them. Oh. I never show you guys what I keep in my fridge. Did you show them the fridge? I think I showed them the fridge. It's a spaghetti on it. But I never showed them what I keep in it. Wow. In case anybody just... tries to break in. <gasps> keep it on me. Keep it on me. <laughs> just in case. Did you just do that for the meme? 
I mean, I'm gonna drink them. <laughs> unless somebody tries to try me. What else you got in here? Bang, Red Bull, unsweet tea. Bang shooter, Water. some snacks. Nice. Beverages, mostly. Keep it on me, <laughs> just in case. Well guys, I said I had some custom 2JZ Z28 looking badges coming, so that's why I didn't put the stickers on this fender. And here they are, check that out. You gotta see it up against something. Look at that, it looks so cool. My buddy Reese down in Australia at Custom Automobile Badges made these for me, reached out to me, showed me a couple pictures, and I just knew I had to have them right away. Huge thanks to him, these are freaking awesome. Made me a couple of them for the whole car, one for the back, one for both sides, but it looks so much better. So now the question is, will we be able to get the Sharpie off nicely? Now that's just not a, nah, now that's not just any Sharpie. It is freaking Milwaukee Sharpie. Milwaukee Inkzall, it's called. And I just don't know if I have the uh, elbow grease to do it. So I'm gonna try the acetone and see if that does it. If it does not, then we will have to try something else. So acetone is first step. Well, the acetone didn't even flinch. Basically took it off like it wasn't even there. Kind of expected that. I wasn't really too worried about the Sharpie on there because I knew it would come right off. So there it goes, it's off. Now time to put this badge on. It's gonna look so cool on there. All right guys, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad we got these wheels on. I'm so pumped about that. I can't wait to bring the car back out to the track. Really see what it can do now. The new badge doesn't exactly help me go faster, but it does look freaking awesome. Big thanks to Reese. Also big thank to my, thanks to my buddy, Jim, who helped me get the machine stuff all set up. He was the one that recommended me to do this. So big thanks to him because without him, I would have been running those same dangerous lug nuts and not even a thought about it. Wing is on, so we are ready for the track, guys. So. That'll do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Keep it saucy.